Hello and welcome to episode 5 of All Plan Engineering Questions and Answers. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create a variable thickness slab, which can be really useful as a foundation solution for water tanks, where usually there is a filling or uh, in the middle simple concrete can be added so that we get an economy of uh, reinforced concrete. So in this example, we can see uh, we have a thinner portion of the slab in the middle and there's also a transition to the thicker slab. So let's dive in and see how it's done. Start by going to the architectural model and choosing the second sub-module and we'll go further with slab foundation. I'm going to use two diagonally opposed clicks to create the foundations. So I'll use the relative coordinates. Delta X is 4.5. Hit tab on the keyboard and go for 6. Hit enter. And escape to obtain the constant slab. And then I'm going to use recess setting. So I'll say recess opening in slab. Select the slab and then go for the settings. I will choose this opened shape and instead of opening, which you get by default, we choose recess and go for height. And I have to establish the coordinates of the recess. So by default, it matches the top and the bottom level, but this would mean an opening. So I need to limit this recess. So what I'm going to do is for the top level, I'll say minus 0.2 as this is the offset that I need from the top level. Hit OK, OK, and drawing the recess is as easy as drawing the slab itself. Go here, and I will tab to delta x 1.2, hit tab again 1.2 upward, then I'll go to the top right corner and say minus 1.2, tab again to jump to delta y minus 1.2. Hit enter and escape. And now we can see through the transparent concrete that there is a variable thickness. So we have a, uh, a thinner slab in here. What we need next is to make a um, gradual slope from the 45 thickness to the 20 thickness. And we see that we have here uh, 45 degrees. So what we'll need to do is to uh, connect these edges, find the chamfer tool, we'll have to go to bonus tools, and here we say chamfer edge. However, these options only apply to 3D objects. Therefore, we need to convert this architectural element into a 3D element. To do that, we simply go to convert elements and say architecture to 3D solid, and I'll select this area. So now, from animation point of view, nothing changed. It looks quite the same. Only that it's written when you hover over 3D object. So on you know, this 3D object, we're going to do the chamfering. So I'll say chamfer edge. I will select the width, which in this case is 0.25. And I will select the edges that I need. I don't want all the edges, as it would chamfer also the... Uh, parameter edges. So I select the four edges and hit escape to end the function. So now is what I intended to, to do. So this is the slab. It has variations for this thickness in the middle. This is a 3D object. However, maybe some of you would want it to keep it as an architectural element. Can we do this? Well, the answer is yes, we can. So in order to be able to keep that foundation slab object so that we can get it in all the quantities, the trade related quantities, we can transform this 3D object into a roof and then provide it a foundation slab, which will be modeled by this roof plan. So let me show how we also do that. We go to architecture, this time the first module, and we will say 3D to planes. And we'll select this 3D object. And obviously it disappeared because now we don't have a 3D object anymore, but we have planes. So we'll go now to architecture, draw the same slab foundation, and we'll just use the same settings. 
and draw over the plan and hit escape. And now you see that if I hover over, this is a slab foundation. And if I go here, I see that there is a variation, a 45 degrees variation on all four edges. We can even check this by creating a section. So I can just generate a section here through this object and check the results. So we see that we obtain everything we wanted and this is a slab foundation. Also quantities will be available so because I assigned the trades when I go to reports to trades and I want to see how much concrete or formwork I need for this I'll just select it and I will get a report that includes the gra graphical representation so we see how it calculated we see that this is the con constant part of the slab and then there are some extra calculation and include we also get removing we remove the excessive uh, concrete volume I hope you learn something useful today from this episode and you will apply it to make variable thickness slabs or in foundation slabs and uh, you will also keep it as an architectural element to keep its entity especially when you are doing BIM and want to export it into other software. If you liked the episode please subscribe to my channel so that you know exactly when I'm launching a new movie. Also. Um, I want to recommend uh, a, another YouTube channel that is made by one of my uh, friends. Uh, he specializes in all plan architecture, so check his channel as well. You'll find a link here. And uh, nevertheless, uh, I just want to remind you that uh, this month you can test for free my uh, first uh, software. It's about designing glass balustrades. So. For structural engineers, it can be relevant, especially when you need to design this kind of uh, structure, which is not something uh, familiar, but sometimes it might block your project. So check it out. This month is free for test. Thanks for watching and see you in my next episodes.